one day I'm going to die. Before I draw my last breath, I like to say, I have done all these things that I want to do, rather than saying, I've wasted my life not doing these things. I wasn't that active 10 years ago. I think I started going to the gym when I turned 40. So I started just doing a range of like gym classes and I saw people doing boxing and I thought, wow, it's really hardcore. I'm 48 and a half and my goal is to still be able to box till I'm at least 55. And if I can make it to I'm 65 just like old Pete, I'll be stoked. In, the, in my last boxing gym. He left that gym and opened his own, so um, then I followed him. Hook right, finish, set yourself up, so you're ready to go. He's given me that sort of guidance that I always All need. Front on, side on. The relationship is like him looking after an overage daughter that is forever a teenager. Face, swinging and hitting you in the face? Yeah. You should already be under it. I think I'm not his best. I hope that I'm one of those that's tried the hardest to learn and, and the most persistent and determined person to do well and um, make everyone proud. Sometimes people say, well look, why do you bother? You know, the guys beat you up. I say, but it's not about being beaten up, it's about applying your skills in the ring. I mean, I, I hit them too, mind you. They know I don't want to be treated differently because I'm a woman, smaller build as well. So I think in some ways they're like brothers that I've never had actually. When this other guy, his name's Loki, that's the, the guy that inspired me to, to fight, I was looking at what he was doing and I thought, hey, I could do it too. And so I started asking Anton, because Anton was training him, preparing him for the fight. So I said, Hey, I want to do that too, I want to do fighter training. And he looked at me like, you, you, you can't. One day Anton just said, oh, well, there's a fight coming up. Do you want to be in it? I thought, wow, so you now believe I want to fight and you want to help me? Finally, he said, oh, well, the date for the, the fight is on the 9th of June. And we found you somebody to fight against, but she's bigger. So she's going to lose weight and you're going to put weight on to, to make this fight happen. And then I start thinking, oh no, I'm never ready. I'm going to go in and be beaten now, knowing, oh, somebody, somebody bigger. And I think, oh, you know, it might be hard. And so I was all nervous. I was just really, really scared. I have to be last man standing, and I have to be um, the one that if you hit me once, I hit you three times and you fall. It's almost like something that makes you feel you're untouchable. You just keep going. This girl had a really strong right punch. Just smacked me like that. And the ref came up to my face and started counting. One, two, three, like that. And I thought, I looked at him like, what are you doing? Stop counting, shut up. Go back, don't count. Anton came to the corner and said, well, do you remember what you have to do? Finish with the hook, finish with the hook, finish with the hook. That's all I had in my head. And I thought, this is the last round. If I don't do it now, I don't have another round to win. I think I actually had a lot more attacks in the last round to just basically pull me through. It 
took like forever for them to deliver the results because they just get you to stand in the middle, the ref holding our hands. But I thought, just call my name, call my name, put my hand up. And then anyway, the MC eventually came up and said, and the winner is 